All right, so we're back with another episode. And what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the back end. We're going to go into our guild controller. And now we're going to create a route to handle the post request to update the prefix. So all we got to do is just use the post decorator. And we're going to go ahead and implement the route. So the route is going to be slash, uh, so slash config. And uh, actually, wait, sorry. No, it's actually guild ID slash config slash prefix. Remember, this whole route is going to be prefixed with slash guilds. Okay, and we're calling that from the front end. But the first parameter is supposed to be a guild ID. And we're going to fix that. We're going to fix this get request later. Async update guild prefix. Okay, so over here, uh, we're going to obviously need the uh, the route parameter. So we're, we'll get that the same way that we got it up there by using the param decorator. And then what's next is we actually need um, the guild prefix, the updated prefix. And that is actually going to be a value that comes from the request body. And we can actually get that by using the body decorator. Okay. And this actually allows us to just easily get values from from the uh, from, from the uh, from the request body. This is going to actually require us to um, I don't even think you can actually get one single value. I think you actually could. Let me double check. I think you should be able to. I think if you actually pass in a property, um, yeah, I think you should. So we don't actually have to create a DTO. The reason why I was questioning that was because uh, I didn't really want to create a data transfer object and to to perform the validation. I think we just specify the property that we want to get from the request body, and it should do a trick. Looking at the uh, documentation here, it seems to do that for us. Okay, and we can also uh, add validation too. Uh, we'll do that later though, okay? Um, but actually, let me try this out real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and console log guild ID prefix, okay? So this post request should work. Let's go over to the front end. Uh, let's go ahead and click dollar sign. Let's click save. You can see that, yes, it in fact does work. Okay, I'm curious to see what happens if I add a validation pipe. And I want this to basically validate to make sure. Oh yeah, we do need to install class validator. We haven't done it. I'll, I'll do that later. I do want to make sure that we're validating the backend to make sure that the prefix is in fact being sent. Because if the prefix is not being sent, we should we should send back a bad request. Because that's good practice when you're implementing APIs. But we haven't gone to uh, the validation part yet. I'll, I'll save that for later. Okay. Um, Right now, you can see that uh, when, when if I click save, it is making the API call, which is good. Okay, and remember, if you haven't seen the last episode where we actually implemented the the function call, okay, make sure you go watch the episode. Okay, but now we're going to go ahead and complete this part. So all we got to do from here is we need to go ahead and go inside guild service, and we need to modify guild service, uh, the interface first. We're gonna have to define a to define an, we have to define an abstract method uh, to update the guild prefix. So we'll create one called update guild prefix. This is going to take the guild ID as well as the prefix. And this will uh, return an instance of guild configuration. So it's going to update and then return. Uh, it's going to update and then return. Okay. Uh, what's next is uh, we need to go into guild service.ts. And we're going to go ahead and implement the actual method. Nice nice that uh, IntelliSense, the Visual Studio, actually auto-completes this for me. Okay. From here, we're going to go ahead and interact with the repository. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to... I think what we're going to do first is... I'll do this. Um, we can actually do this. Uh, return this dot... Uh, let's see... So because guild ID is actually a unique value, uh, we can easily, we can actually easily just uh, reference that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do this though. I'm gonna first search for the guild configuration first. So I'm gonna make this an async function, and I'm gonna just literally call it get guild config. So const guild config equals oh wait this dot get guild config. Passing guild ID. Might as well use that method because we already have it. I could have just called guild config repository find one, but I might as well just reuse our methods. So 
If there's no guild config, throw I'm gonna throw an error. And I probably should create a custom exception for this. But I'll do that later. I'll actually make this a uh I'll make this a bad request instead. So if there's no guild config, throw an error. Okay, what's next is now that the guild config is found, we can just return. So to update and also return the updated value, because if you actually uh, if you actually use the repositories uh, update method, it will not return the new value. So a workaround is to do this. We'll reference the guild config repository. We'll call save. We're going to destructure guild config like this. So this will unpack all of the original values. The uh, especially the most important thing is the uh, the primary key, which is the ID, and so that will prevent us from actually creating a new record, a duplicate record. And then we'll go ahead and set the prefix just like this. Okay. So we're override. So we're unpacking all of the original values, and then just passing, and then we're overriding the prefix because it's gonna it's gonna unpack. Uh, it's gonna unpack the original prefix. But then because we're putting this after we unpack it right over here, we're putting prefix after this guild config. After we spread guild config, it's going to override the value and it's going to return the guild config repository. Okay, and all we're going to do is just call the method from the controller now. So return this dot guild guild service, update guild prefix, pass in the guild ID and pass the prefix. Okay. So now it's going to go ahead and call update guild prefix. If the guild config was not found, it will throw a not found uh, exception. Or it will throw an HTTP exception and it will just say uh, guild config not found. Okay, and it will give us a 400 status code. However, if the guild config is found, then it will just, it will just update it and then return it to us. So if I go ahead on the front end now, if I click save, you're going to see that it gives us a tool one. And if you look at the data, it gives us dollar sign. Okay, now if I actually refresh, obviously this is going to be a problem because it's going to bring us back to the front end, but that's okay. Uh, let's click this. Let's click this. You can see, uh, oh wait, this is the wrong server. Let's click on, it's BMW server. You can see it's dollar sign. Let me go ahead and change this to pound. So it did in fact update successfully. We do need to unfortunately navigate back, uh, but it's okay. We'll, we'll make it so we don't have to. Uh, so you can see over here, it's now pound sign. So this is, this is actually updating the backend now. Okay. If I were to take this guild ID and paste this in here, we would see that it's actually being updated. If I were to go into the actual database, rather, you can see that it's actually being updated. You can see that the pound symbol, the prefix is the pound symbol. Okay. So it's actually working. So that's pretty much it for, uh, this part of the tutorial for updating the prefix okay um in the next episode we're going to go ahead and set up the welcome message uh this one the updating the welcome message is actually not the same as the prefix because there, there's a couple of th other things that we have to do uh one when we visit the uh welcome message page we need to go ahead and fetch we, we actually need to make an http call to the discord api to get all the guild channels for this guild then we have to populate this drop down box with all of the guilds okay and uh and then uh, and, and that's that's really it honestly um and then we also have to make sure that we are also uh, updating the current message as well it's it's not super complicated because it it does require an extra step which is fetching the discord api but that's really it okay so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next episode peace out